What the heck? Wow. They put that Did in. Did not expect that. No, uh, that's a throw. That's a curveball. All right, well, for something unique this summer, you might be interested in this Mike's Freeze. So this is not hard lemonade, but these are freeze malt beverages, white, pink, and you got blue and red. Blue and red. Now, is it like Gatorade where you just call them the, <laughs> the, the, the name of the color of it and not by its actual flavor? Uh, it's almost like a mystery to Tyler and I because we're going to figure out what the flavors are and which one is the best tasting, apparently. Mike's known for its lemonade usually, mm -hmm. but uh, they're considering this to be a flavored beer almost by the looks of it. And it's very important while you're drinking these to, to not freeze them. They have the warning labels on the cans, on the boxes. I, I know it do, says it's, freeze. It's, it's called but, freeze, but do not freeze it. Put it in your fridge, not your freezer. <laughs> Drink it. People. All right. Uh, so we and Jones and I had flavored beer in red, blue, pink, white. We're not really sure what we're getting into, and we don't know who they're competing with. They may have their own lane here, right? And uh, I'm down for an experiment always when it comes to new booze. So what we're gonna do is try each one of them Get and uh, try, try to rank them here. We'll try the white one first since it we're might be the, the we're, lamest. We're COVID friendly, COVID friendly here, so we get cups out. We'll try the lamest one first. All right, this is the. the I'm white. guessing lemon. You think? Like a lemon lime. What else is white? Definitely lemony smell. Gr uh, glacier freeze the, yeah. or the cherry glacier. That's that's one of my favorite. Gatorade. Ooh, that's cream soda. It is cream soda. Ooh, that's like a. What the heck? Wow! They put that. Did in not there. expect that. Nah, uh, that's a throw. That's a curveball. That's a twelve that's like to a, six or curveball there. <laughs> that's like a tart, tart uh, cream soda. I I don't know how to explain that. That is different. That, that is unique. Go with the blue one. Well, hold on. What do you what do you think it is? Because we were we both went lemon. It was cream soda. Surely it's got to be raspberry, right? Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. When did that become a thing, by the way? Jolly Ranchers. Yep, that's yep. blue raspberry. Yeah. So this is a mystery flavor, a guessing game on what it is. I, I definitely didn't expect cream soda out of the white one. Blue raspberry is as expected. The first time you ever remember the flavor blue raspberry, what was it? Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Did they invent? Did they trademark the flavor? I would think so, or maybe one of the sucker companies, like a uh, Blow Pop. Didn't Blow Pop have a blue raspberry? Maybe. And this pink one and kind of scares me. Maybe a tangerine or a peach flavor. Oh, okay. You're going out there a little I bit. I don't like those. Fuzzy navel. Yeah, it might be fuzzy navel. We'll It'd see. be more orange. Pink lemonade, maybe. Hmm. What flavor do you get on that? <laughs> Just carbonation. I, I think it's pink lemonade. You think it is? Yeah. I think you're right on. It's because it's, it's a little tart. Not nearly as flavorful as the other two because you could definitely taste the blue raspberry. This one, I. I you know, the the interesting <clears throat> thing about these, honestly, is they're, I they're light like seltzers. Right. They're really light. I didn't expect them to be so light. The, the crazy thing is, this tastes like soda. Kind of like what we did the Bud Light hard sodas. Like there wasn't any alcohol flavor whatsoever. This one, you know, there's carbonation, but I don't get alcohol. Do you? No. What are they? Five percent. Five percent ABV, just like you know, a normal light beer. That's dangerous because they're just going down like a soda to me. Huh? Yeah. Uh, cream soda still on the front. Yeah. But maybe because we're just surprised by it. Could be. I want to be surprised by something that I'm drinking. That's true. I want to be surprised by the flavor. I don't want to. Yeah, is that what people look for in a drink? Old. Like they that's want what to be I surprised. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's a good drinking experience. No, like, that's how I feel like every time I drink like a sour. Yeah, exactly. They're like, no one drinks sours, and I'm like, oh no. Sometimes I'll have one at the start just because it's like, what's your weirdest sour? And just I'm like, oh, what a surprise! Oh god, that was ridiculous. Red freeze, cherry. Oh, it's, it smells stronger. That's cherry? Cherry. Yeah. It's like a, a cough medicine cherry, too. Like one of those dark cherries. Yeah, I don't that's, know why, why that's, this is dark, but dark. Dark cherry. Come drink. Enjoy, Mike's. Uh, this one's not bad. Yeah. It's got more flavor than probably all of them. Let's put it, your, your rankings first. One, one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah. Tyler's going white and then red as number one and number two. And then blue and then pink. I'm going to do the same Three, thing. Three, four. Just because of the flavor profile. One had... The, uh, how are they packaged? It's a sampler pack, so all four flavors come in a 12-pack. And so uh, I don't think you can buy each one separately. Now, maybe next summer they come out with it I again and then, you know, uh, come up with like a four-pack or something like that. But as of right now, you got to buy them in a sampler pack, so you got to try them all. Um, so obviously our favorite overall is, is the white. There's we, some well, sort of cream. I, I know. I don't know if the people will agree with us. You don't think they will? I, I think cream flavored is like so polarizing. 
But, but yeah, hey, but, I mean, that's what we're going with because it was unique. It was different. It had a cool flavor. Yeah, all the rest of them you would expect, you know, the pink lemonade, the blue raspberry, and the, and the cherry. That Those are common flavors, I think, everywhere. What's unique is this one, the, the cream soda slash whatever fruit they put in that thing. Now, a question for you. More like an alcoholic question. <laughs> that's what we do. Could you use these to mix with your Wheatley vodka. You could step it up, you know, up the ABV. <laughs> yeah, you know, instead of like, you know, your lemonade, you're basically got the lemonade base flavor here in, in these drinks. True. So you just put a little shot of vodka in there. Yeah. You're soaring, baby. <laughs> it might help tone down the carbonation too, because I don't know about you, yeah, ever drinking those four already, I mean, you got the burps coming on yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. So. Interesting. Check them out. 